Right, Ken, 747. It is time for Dan DeRue's Daily Destination. Today, the 2015 SIA Snow Show kicks off in Denver. It's always a cool event. It's our first chance to see the newest gear and trends for skiers and snowboarders. It's not open to the public, but we've got you hooked up because Dan DeRue is live there at the convention center with an inside look at all the stuff that we have to buy now for this ski season. Dan, what's up? Here. Hey guys, uh, this is Cody. Let me give you to Dan. Didn't know we were coming up. Ah, uh, thank you, Cody. Hey, Boy, Cody. I appreciate that introduction. Yeah. Hey, how are you guys doing this morning? We're doing good. <laughs> we're doing. Hey, listen. You know, so many people are excited about ski, and everybody skis it. Well, not everybody. Almost. Almost everybody pretty skis. Close. Pretty close. A lot of people ski, but every year, innovation changes. It's not the same old thing. It's not a pair of skis you keep for 20 years and you're good to go, right? No, not at all. I planned that, so don't worry about that. But that does change every year, and that's what this show is all about. Changes in the snow sports industry. Oh, hi, Cody. Nice to see you. Jake's my man. Jake's with me. Jake, you are with? Atomic. And that's one of these skis right here? It sure is. All right, I'm going to challenge you because I'm a golfer, right? And so every year, golf clubs come out every year. Ooh, this is the new improved golf club. And for folks who don't golf, you're going to say, that's just another golf club. So... Talk about ski technology. I mean, has it really changed? Oh, absolutely. There's been all kinds of innovations that have happened in the ski industry, with skis specifically, between rocker profile, lighter weight constructions, uh -huh. trying to deliver the most in versatility. You know, like uh, shape skis, that's always a big thing. Is that still going on right now, shape skis? Yeah, shape skis are, are big. All skis have side cut now. Things have evolved now to utilize in revolutionary materials, making skis lighter weight and more versatile. Now, the million dollar question. For someone getting into it. Hey, I've never skied before. I just moved in from New Jersey. New Jersey! So the point is, what advice would you give them? How much do they really need to spend to get going, get on the mountain? You know, honestly, uh, for skis alone, you, you drop about three to four hundred dollars to get yourself in a great entry level package. Uh -huh. You're going to go out and you're going to have a blast. Uh -huh. There's tons of retailers out there that specialize in really helping people find the right equipment because it's such a big offer out there. But we really want to make sure that we help them progress through the sport. So some of these new technologies, especially things like lighter weight uh -huh. and more versatility, are huge talking points. Now, what about? Um, other things. The show's not just about skiing, and I know you represent Atomic, but uh, there's all kinds of stuff at this show. But you know what? Folks can't come to this show. we got to make sure we have to reiterate, we have to emphasize the show's not open to the public. Oh. It's a trade show. It's a total trade show, but you know what's really fun here is you see the latest and greatest from kid sleds with, but up by the front door to ski racks and accessories between helmets, goggles, uh, winter apparel, skis, boots, bindings, poles, you name it. Everything people need to go out and have fun in the wintertime is here today. All right, listen, I want your opinion. I'm not throwing you a curveball. <laughs> this might be a hardball, though. It seems like lift tickets have gone up and up and up every year, and the average family of four is going to say, really? I really don't have $2,000 to go skiing this weekend. What do you say to that family? I'd say, you know, like go out there and utilize the, the learn to ski programs, make sure you, you're grouping up with people and you get the discounted lift tickets and that you get people out to play. You know, it's a little bit expensive, but if you plan ahead, there's lots of great deals to get a hold of out there and make sure that you can get up on the hill. I hear it. I'm not going to interrupt the man. He's talking. All right, listen, it also helps to know Kirk Yonke because he has a lot of money. Guys, we're going to toss back to you. See you next hour. Who knows what crazy shenanigans we will be up to. You All look good. like Here's Stan from South Park. <laughs> I feel like it. Bye -bye. I have a lot of money. Where is it? Oh, I want to find it. Not spending it on me. <laughs> 750 now. Dove comes out with a commercial it claims can make the toughest football fan.